Welcome back to day five of this free training series where I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can set up a news letter business that can earn you money within 30 days. If I just head over to this part of my board, you can see what we've gone through so far with day one to five. We've talked about here with uh, picking your niche, talked you through some ideas with that. You can see underneath here, we put some information. What we went on to then is talking about if you can make money. We then talked about how exactly you're gonna get paid from your newsletter. And then we talked about how you can monetize your audience and the best kind of audience. What I wanna do now though, however, is just talk a little bit about the case study that we're gonna be working on over the next 25 days in order to get you to a nice ideal profit of a newsletter that could be making you a thousand dollars a month. This is a case study, this is the newsletter that we're actually going to be building over the next few days. I'm taking all the ideas we discussed in days one to four with picking the niche and thinking about your audience, think about monetizing, and I put all of those ideas together and this is the niche we're actually going to be building out. I wanna talk about the why and the how so that you can take these ideas, take what we talked about in the previous days of this training and then come up with the niche that is gonna work with you. Now we're gonna automate this, we're gonna do everything with AI, so don't worry about having to write thousands of words of newsletters several times a week. We're not gonna be doing that. We're gonna get AI to do it for us. So the case study that we are going to be talking about. The case study is going to be corporate wellness or corporate well-being. That is the newsletter that you are going to see me build. Now, I don't have a background in this at all. I have an interest myself in well-being and health and self-development and stuff like that. But I don't have any knowledge or expertise. I don't have a network that I can uh, take advantage of. So this is going to be 100% from scratch as if you were doing this as well. Now, I would always encourage you to pick a niche that you know something about. As I said, I'm very into like personal health and uh, well-being, mental health, things like that. So I have some general knowledge, but I do not have any contacts that I can take advantage of directly. And that's probably the situation that you are gonna be in. The reason that I picked this, well, employees are more likely to feel engaged and productive at work if there is a good well-being or um, health program within a workplace. They're must, much less likely to have issues such as burnout, mental health and go off ill. So there is an incentive there for businesses, for corporations to invest in this kind of thing. We also know that COVID changed the workplace. Not only did more people work from home and are staying at home, more people are wanting that kind of lifestyle. They're wanting their business to look after their physical health, their mental health. And it really shone a light on health and well-being in the workplace and in general. When you actually look at some of the statistics and do some market research around this, and I'll put the links to these sources if you're interested in the description, 87% of employees have access to mental health and emotional well-being offerings, but only 23% of them are using them. So there's a real incentive here for businesses to improve well-being within their business, not just giving people more opportunities, but making sure they access them. And that's what this newsletter is gonna be about. It's not just gonna be about here are different things that you can do, but also talking to people within the business about how you can raise the profile of health and well-being and look after your workforce. And not only that, but there's room for growth. It says here, um, between now and 2031, we're gonna have a compound annual growth of 8.41%, which is massive. So this is an area that's not only relevant now, but it's gonna be relevant over the next few years. So that's why I picked it. And as we talk about in day one, two, two and three in the free course, and you can get those videos by checking the playlist in the description, it's really important that you do your research and you're finding the right kind of niche. Well, what I wanna to talk to you about is the how. How am I actually going to build this newsletter so I make money? And this is what we talked about in day three and four in the training. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I'm building a B2B newsletter. If you don't know what I mean by that, go back and check out day four of this course, but that's gonna make me the most money. 
much more than B2C. So I'm going to be talking to people within these businesses quite high up and I'm going to be saying who runs the employment well-being program or who's in charge of um, corporate well-being, corporate wellness and I'm going to be sending this newsletter to them. I'm going to target, uh, sorry, I shouldn't have any there. I'm going to be targeting the US, UK and Europe because from the research I have done, that's where most of these programs are aimed at and are growing. And there's a lot of policies uh, going on at the moment that are requiring companies to do more for their employees post COVID. As I said before, we're going to use AI to write the newsletter and I'm going to use AI to automate sending it out and growing my newsletter as well. So finding the people to contact to make them aware of my newsletter, sending it out to them and writing the actual newsletter itself. And it's all about money. We want to be making money from this uh, newsletter, whether it's in pounds, whether it's in dollars, whether it's in euros, it doesn't matter. We're going to be seeking out sponsorship. So I'm going to be talking to brands and businesses that are out there to see if they want to sponsor the newsletter. And I'm also going to be talking to businesses as well that are already running programs, see if I can help them out. And not only that, but we're also going to be setting up an affiliate marketing straight from day one. So I'm going to go out there and find some affiliate programs that link to corporate wellness, um, employee well-being, and getting those links into my newsletter some from day one so when i've only got five or ten people i'm starting to get some clicks starting to get some engagement and starting to get some feedback so that's the case study that we're going to be following over the next few weeks and the how and the why behind it just so you can start seeing some of what i've been talking about before in action my thinkings behind it and why i picked this particular niche the rest of the videos now, we're going to be focusing on exactly how I'm going to write this newsletter using AI, what's the software and what software am I going to be using that also uses AI in order to be able to send out this newsletter and grow this newsletter and build an awareness with people out there about this newsletter so that I can get as many people as possible on this list and start making some money. As I said before, if you haven't checked out the previous videos, go down to the link in the description, click on those videos. Otherwise, there's a video on the screen now if you want a sneak peek of me using the AI tool that will write the newsletters for you, you can click on that one. Otherwise, we'll see you in day six.